Today is going to be an experiment with raw cookies. I've never tried this before. I was just thinking I had an urge for strawberry, that flavor. So, and this is something I encourage all of you to try. You know, play with your recipes, you know, make it according to your liking. Um, I find recipes all the time and what I do is I tweak them a little here and there according to what I like and according to my dietary guidelines. Now I'm pretty strict, especially when it comes to fat. I'm very low fat and I don't like a ton of different ingredients. I like to keep it simple. So today I'm making some raw cookies with my Cuisinart here and I've got three ingredients in here. I've got the dried organic white mulberries. Now I'm going to put those in first because what happens, these are dried and when you, you know, give those a whirl with the Cuisinart, they, they become like, uh, I don't know how to say it, but it's, uh, it breaks them down where there are small little pieces that can be a little crunchy. You know, if you remember, do you remember what um, Nestle's Crunch, remember those chocolate bars, Nestle's Crunch? It gives you a little bit of that crunch, and I like that. <laughs> so I guess you know I ate a lot of Nestle's Crunch bars, huh? But anyway, let me just give this a quick whirl. Okay, this Okay, you'll see you can see how that stuff broke down. There's still a few larger chunks, but that's okay. I like I'm going to do it like that. And um Let me just make sure this thing is... Yeah. All right. So now, the next thing I'm going to put in... So that was a cup of organic dried mulberries. I got 15 pitted medjool dates. They're going to go in there. Let me give this a little... Okay, I'm starting to get those big, it's starting to ball up. But I've got about a half a cup of organic strawberries that I thawed out. These were frozen, I thawed them out. I'm gonna put these in there. Now this is an experiment, so I hope, I hope it doesn't come out, you know, too much liquid where I can't form these into cookies. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so take a look at this mixture. It looks good. I'm going to be able to form some cookies out of those. And then what I'll do, I'll put them on this tray with the parchment paper, put them in the fridge, or I could put them in the freezer for two or three hours. And they're going to be awesome. So basically, 
you know, you just grab some mixture and form your cookie. I like to roll them into balls and then I press them a little. So there you have a nice little power cookie. This thing, it's got the natural sugars, the glucose, keeps your head clear and gives you instant energy. I'm gonna place those on here. So I encourage everybody to experiment, you know, if you want to stay on this lifestyle, which is really going to give you the best health you've ever had in your life, um, you're going to have to, you know, tweak things according to your liking. And, um, you know, I've been doing this for 15 years and I don't claim to be like, uh, the greatest chef, okay, but I don't want to, you know, some people say, oh man, I want that gourmet, that gourmet food. Usually gourmet vegan has loads of fat, all kinds of spices and condiments that are really not doing you any good. So I like to keep it simple. You know, I'll use garlic once in a while, maybe a little onion powder, and I like the fresh herbs, you know, basil, thyme, uh, green onion. So experiment, keep it simple. And like I say, you're going to find health you never dreamed possible. Okay, so give it a shot. All right, so I'm going to keep keep working on this. I'm going to put it in the fridge and then I'm going to, in two or three hours, we'll give it a taste test. See you then. Okay, so I've got 16 strawberry cookies raw right there. I'm going to put these in the fridge and um, we'll do that taste test in about two or three hours. Well, the cookies definitely passed the taste test. Check it out. <laughs> My wife and I devoured these things. So they were really good. They're worth making. Give it a try. And I was thinking, you know, there's so many other fruits that you could do this with. And you could mix it up with different tastes. You could put chocolate in there. You could put carob. You could use mangoes, you could use uh, mame sapote, um, figs, fig, fresh figs would be awesome. So please give this video a like, a thumbs up, please subscribe to the channel, and fruit up. Take care.